one of the most highly paid and highly sought out position from both employees and companies is that of rigging. That means taking a 3D object and making it move so that it looks lifelike. That means making all the joints and different pieces move, whether it be to music or to a particular action they're doing, such as running, jumping, etc. So we're going to practice our initial rigging with a uh, real nice model, a squirrel made by animation mentors. So I put this, I will put this up on the Google Drive and also I'll put it up on YouTube for this video in the next day or two, maybe tonight when I get home. So you can either get it off the uh, Google Classroom for my classes at Roosevelt or it'll be under the YouTube um, uh, extras um, or see more under the video lesson. So the first thing we need to do is set our project. So that means we want to, when we set it, that means we're going to see our squirrel model and also the background color it comes with, which is two, um, the two uh, objects I'll be putting up, two files. So I'm going to go to File, Set Project, and in this case, this is the directory I put it in, and that's my directory, squirrels. So I'm just going to set it. That means when I go to open my file, I'm going to see um, that model. So file, open scene, and this is the third one I did. When I ask you to save, that means the initial screen I was just on, which has nothing on it, so I don't need to save it. So there's my squirrel. The rest of you would see this, but my 2016, we keep seeing this error message. Just click OK. Now I have 300 frames. Let's see if anything's playing. Nope. So I'm going to go to frame one. Now I've created 300 frames. I suggest you do the same. So I have 300 frames to um, manipulate my model. Remember, there's 30 frames a second. So if you're moving a model and you only put 30 frames there, um, that's one second. And if it's doing a complicated move, it's going to go so fast, no one's going to be able to see it. So I'm just going to do some basic, uh, simple moves with this uh, a squirrel. So I've got it highlighted, so I'm going to hit S. I'm going to hit S. That's my keyframe. So I'm going to go ahead and move um, maybe his middle. So these are the different rigs. This one right here um, moves him up and down. So if I were to move him back and forth, I could do that. Well, let's go ahead and try that then. So that one moves him back and forth. Each rig moves that different section. So I want to move him in about uh, two seconds worth. So I'm going to click on 60. And let's go ahead and move him back a little bit. OK. And we hit S. We didn't. So we hit S on the first frame to make that our keyframe, starting with him just uh, scrotus sitting there. And then we moved to the two seconds and then did our move and hit S. So that's our first move. Let's go. So that's 60. Let's go to 120, which is two more seconds, another 60 seconds, two more seconds. And let's maybe have him jump up a little bit. Hit S. OK. And let's go to maybe 180, another two seconds. And let's have him move down, squish a little bit, and hit S. And let's go ahead and play that. All right. Always want to sort of render and see what you're seeing uh, when you're going to go ahead and make the, uh, the file. Now, I went ahead and downloaded the Metal Ray rendering. Um, Option within Maya 2016. That's their um, their own rendering engine. 
So uh, I suggest we'll get that on your laptops. If not, you might want to download it online. So let's play it again. Okay, let's just go maybe one second and have him pop back up. Okay, hit S. And now let's go maybe 240 and let's grab this rig and let's move him in a little. Okay, hit S. Now let's play it. Okay, it's at 240. And let's go to 300 and have him go ahead and boom right back out. Okay, maybe it's a bit too much. And hit S. Now let's play it. Okay, not bad. All right, always make sure you're rendering an image to see what uh, your file looks like because if you need lights or your colors um, not correct or your colors too bright or too dark because you don't have lights or the lights are placed incorrectly, you need to go ahead and correct that by rendering it. What we see here is not necessarily what we're going to see when we render. All right, so let's zoom in a little bit. Let's move it down. And now let's render it. Okay. Move it down a little bit more. I want to fill that screen. Okay, so let's sort of scrub a little bit. Still in my screen. How about there? A little bit low. So let's move our scene up a little bit. Now render it. Okay. I'm trying to zoom in as much as I can so when I make my animation. Okay. I can see it. Okay. So now we need to make a animation file, a movie, so we can see what our um, animation looks like. I mean, this is not necessarily what we're going to see when we make the animation, so we need to always do that. So Maya 2016 has moved these from down here to up here and also got rid of the batch render for some reason. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to render the movie. So I'm going to name it Squirrel A, and I do not want it to render it as an IFL, IF, uh, IFL file. Is that an extra? Okay, there's Squirrel A. I want an AVI file. Now this is a IBM um, computer PC. Otherwise, it was if it was a uh, Mac. I have not rendered in 2016 a Mac yet, but with a Mac you're going to sh choose JPEG and then go to File Check and make your video. Maybe I'll make a separate one for that one. But anyway, this is a PC AVI file. Okay. Now you have to change this. If not, you're going to get less than one second. It'll just go from start frame one to start frame ten. And it's 30 frames a second. That's one third of a second. We have 300 frames. Okay. Looks good. Okay. And now, since they moved it, we're going to go to render and batch render. And we are a classroom, so we're using the uh, student version. So right now it's rendering. And we'll see how long it takes. But you can look down here in this window and see that it's rendering. You can see that it's going through all the frames. So if you do not see this, that means you didn't do it correctly. So remember, you're going to go up to this screen. You're going to set the, uh, um, the render settings. 
If it's a PC to AVI, name your um, file, and then um, pick how many frames you have, and then you're going to go up to the render window up here, and you're going to choose batch render. When you come down here, you're going to make sure that you see um, this file being rendering. We'll wait another minute or so. If not, I'll just cut into this video and continue. Well, it's done, so that wasn't bad. Now, if you want to see where it went, you just click right there. It's going to show you, in case you forgot, where your animation is, what directory it is, etc. So mine's under 3D animation, squirrels, images, squirrel AVI. Okay, so that'll show you what directory it is. Or we can just go down here in a, a PC, AVI, dot AVI files. Okay. And I think I named mine Squirrel A. Double click on it. Let's make it full screen. So there's my animation. Let's play it again. Cool. Okay, so remember, every time you do an animation, you need to render it. As you're making the animation, keep looking at the frames, um, rendering to make sure you can see your object, the colors and lights are correct, and then scrub it through to see that it's not moving too fast. Remember, 30 frames a second. So if you're going to have them go from here to here and here to here and you only use this 30 frames, that's one second. You can't see it. So, you know, maybe error on the side of making it a little bit too slow and then you can speed it up after that. Okay, so let's go ahead and download that squirrel and let's make your own animation. So let's say you've created a animation, you've worked quite a while on it, and you play it, like mine, or scrub through it, and you decide you don't like it. You're either going too fast or going too slow, and you want to get rid of all these keyframes and try it again, which is usually what happens, because we're not going to know how it looks until we uh, give it a try. So you can right-click on here, and uh, if you get the right keyframe, delete it. Or if you want to get all the keyframes, what you want to do is go up to Windows, Animation Editors up top, Windows Animation Editors, Dope Sheet. Okay, so I'm going to choose the summary. So now we've got all the keyframes. And we're going to go to Edit, Delete. And then let's close it. And you can see we no longer have any keyframes. I would suggest you uh, keep saving these under different names also. You may want to go back to the one you just created. So, but then this one you could then save under a new name, File, Save Scene As, maybe Squirrel four, squirrel, A, B, C, D, and then you can, uh, if you make a mistake, you can go back to the other one. But this is a quick way to get all, rid of all those keyframes and try it again. And remember, 30 uh, frames to a second. So if you're going to move the squirrel, let's click on him, um, always start with a keyframe there, and then remember, this would be two seconds. So if I want to make a move,
that's a two second move. So not bad. Do not put it at 30 seconds or 15 because that's one second. So if you're going to do a lot of movement on one second, you're not going to be able to see anything. It's going to be way too fast. Anyway, if you've made a mistake, delete those keyframes and keep animating. That's how we become animators, by trying, seeing what works, doesn't work, and trying it again.